Hello, welcome to Motivational Monday from another country. I'm gonna whisper because I came out here thinking there'll be nobody around and there is loads of people around walking to and from dinner and it's very echoey as you can probably tell. So in today's video, we're gonna address the whole idea about fixing your own oxygen mask before fixing somebody else's. And there's very good reason as to why we're gonna address this today. So you've heard this, it's an old cliche like loads of times that people are saying like, you must fit your own oxygen mask on first. And if you don't do that, you can't help the others because you will be the one that's going under basically, right? So you're with me on that already. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Now, me and Jasmine gonna come out here. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you will see that all over there, that um, we've come away to Montenegro, which is a beautiful country, but there's more about that on this channel with the vlogs and stuff that I've done. I'll just show you behind. I'm gonna put some bits on the end of this tomorrow morning so that you can see. Isn't it just gorgeous? Um, got a nice little view from the room. And the, we're right on the, where the sea is, right where the beach is. So like I say, I'll show you all of that tomorrow. We're just about to go out for a nice restaurant. Meal, evening time. Um, Nathan can't come with us in case she was wondering because he is at work, bless him. Looking after Harley the dog and all that. So it's a girly time, me and Jasmine, and we're having a great time. And I'm very motivated to huh, do this motivation on Monday for you today because um, it's brought up a lot of things for me. Now, you might know, you might not. There's going to be quite a lot of news in this that might come across a little bit sad and I don't want it to and I don't want like loads of sympathy and things either. Um, but in case you didn't know already, I care for my mum, who's really, really hard work. And that's just because my dad was such a fantastic husband, did absolutely everything for her. And um, so me and the children are up against it a little bit when we're trying to kind of look after her. So that's all been going on for a long time. And my work has had to kind of take a little bit of a back step in relation to the travel and stuff like that. Um, but that said, oh, I do have some other news. I'm just gonna quickly tell you really quickly. I just found out that I passed my MA um, with flying colors. I was really, really pleased with my result, but that's another subject. Um, so yeah, so we, for the last probably year and a half, really getting on for three years now, um, we've been taking care of mum to the point that it's been very difficult. Now, initially we thought it would be quite straightforward and it would be completely fine. Um, and then as time's gone on, it's got more and more difficult. And this has had an impact on my health. I, I've got some cell changes in my body that the hospital are not happy with and that they're keeping an eye on. Um, I'm pretty confident we're gonna be fine, um, but I do know that I need to take better care of myself. As well as that, there's been this gland that's been swollen for, I don't know, forever, for how long. And we've come away here and I feel completely chilled out. My head is in such a different place than it was. And I feel as though I am putting on my own oxygen mask by being away and having this time. I've got loads of work that I started to do and we're like halfway through our break and I thought I'm gonna do the work that I need to do as in the filming and stuff like that and make lots and lots of notes. But I'm actually gonna go home and do the editing rather than do it here because the internet, well, it's really good internet actually, but it's not as good as what we've got at home. And I just thought I'll be here and I'll be chilled out and I'll be relaxed because I need to make myself more well. And I think being here, doing all the things that make me feel like happy is what's gonna probably help um, so I'm not going to get emotional about it, but I did want you guys to know that there have been lots of challenges going on and this is why you've seen me living life a little bit harder, just like the past, probably the last year, because I am totally all about living the life now and just you don't know what's around the corner. And in case, I shouldn't say it because I'm not manifesting the butterflying things, I'm not manifesting anything bad, um, but just in case I've got to go through a bit of a process and a bit to come out the other side, then, you know, all the while that I can, I'm absolutely living life now. And I think that I'm not gonna be of any use to the rest of my family if I don't do that. So anyway, make sure that you do whatever you've, oh, hello, Jasmine. Hello, you're right. We're both in blue and white stripes tonight and this is really cute, so. Um, she's just gorgeous, isn't she? So we're both in very different blue and white stripes, but kind of blue and white stripe thing going on, cute. And uh, this is Motivational Monday. Oh. Yes, so I was just telling them I've been up against some challenges with my health and being away here is all about putting on your own oxygen mask before others, before you can help others. Yep. So as well, so this gland, I don't know if I said that, this gland has started to go down on this holiday. I've had quite a lot of things going on with the health. Feel it's turning around, feel it's a good thing. Um, and yeah, so finally it's time to kind of embrace that health, 
make a messy room beautiful here we love it if you haven't seen that there is a vlog that's gone up there's going to be more going up but that will be after we come home um and there's an awful lot going on at home but hopefully it's all good stuff and hopefully i can take this feeling away that i've brought here with me um and we can just feel fantastic so watch this next little bit because it's going to be tomorrow i'm going to take you to the beach and just show you around quickly do a little bit more chatting looking less made up than i am now but we're about to go for dinner in an italian restaurant a la carte which would be fabulous if you haven't already come over over to my Instagram there's always like constant updates over there so make sure you do it's Lou Lusher Life so I'll see you over there good morning so as promised this is the following day so I'm just going to show you that we've got beautiful mountain views um can you pick it out between the sky and that, I don't think you can, but here's the mountains and there's the sky. So we're gonna go off into town today and um, I will be vlogging that, but that'll be on a different video to this because I'm gonna hopefully get this up for you shortly. But if we get time in a minute, I'm gonna make the time. I'm gonna just take you to the beach quickly and just show you what that looks like there. Um, I'm fully aware that yesterday I kind of blurted out that information. I kind of need to do needed to do that. Um, I don't, well, I'm not like, trying to harp on about it too much but I'm just trying to make my point what I'm doing and why I'm doing it um why I'm living this life the way that I am and um you know why I think you should as well because you just don't know and we are here not to just sit and watch telly day after day after day we're here for some adventures and to learn some stuff and and all of that so um, let's go to the beach So just briefly, we're just going to end our video now with a shot of the beach. Say hi, Jazz. Hi. Hi. So thank you for watching Motivational Monday. I know it's been a little bit different today, but I will be showing you a lot more. But they'll be on other videos. So make sure you've subscribed. Leave a thumbs up. Hey, and and uh, comment. See you later.